interviews are kind of stress free they will never put you through a stress and they will always be smiling they will always be very cordial with you but don't lose your focus in the hope that you know they are your friends so you have to keep your composure you have to keep the decorum and try to deliver the best you can actually my scenario or situation i would say would be a little different from others considering that i already had some management background from uh, one of the iims in india and uh, most people often undervalue the difference or uh, let go with the difference that what exactly an indian mba education or management education offers compared to what an uh, abroad education offers and people often think that you know when you are chasing 30 or approximately 29 30 it might be too old but they are not well informed that you know at what age most of the students actually pursue an mba outside of india and when i was in my professional journey i already had a few good years under my belt where i have worked across industries and i was in a position where i could do a thorough retrospect that what exactly i am doing at this point of time whether this is something that i want to keep doing for a future time or i am looking for a change now the change is very personal to each of the aspirants of their own whether they are looking for a geographic change a functional change or anything else it is very personal to them but it is very important to understand that what exactly you are trying to achieve in your career for me it was that i was having a career in business development uh, for quite some time and i wanted to make a career uh, within consulting so that was my key aspiration and i thought uh, i could use this entire thing as a platform to give me an opportunity where i could have a career in consulting then obviously i took in gmat in 2022 and even then i was a bit of in doubt because obviously the financial investment is substantial considering that i have stable income here and i would be leaving everything and taking a little bit of financial burden again so that was a hard call to make but uh, i do believe that i have taken the right call first of all it always starts with the gmat journey and uh, i was under the impression that first i will given gmat and uh, depending on my score i will decide whether this is something you know this is one of the scores which will allow me to go to the colleges that i am targeting at least so once i had the gmat score and i had some faith in me that this is a good enough gmat score and uh, you know i would be able to make at least something out of it and then i started exploring various career consultants who would be able to help me because again people stay misinformed that you know the indian uh, structure indian structure of education is such that you get a score and most of the things are done and things will be handed over to you over a plate but it is very different in overseas colleges because they are looking for a wholesome profile and gmat score happens to be just at a very uh, minimum percentage of it there are a lot of things you know uh, be it your profile evaluation be it very iron clad essays and also the right kind of recommendations should you need a lot of hand holding and that is why it is imperative that you work with a consultant and preferably a very good one at that so uh, then i was exploring various consultants and i shorted down few indian consultants and overseas consultants and at that point of time i was looking for an option which would give me an ideal mix i was not looking to spend say uh, you know maybe Ten thousand dollars over it over my MBA applications. At the same time, I was not uh, willing to go for a very mainstream consultant, you know, who kind of works with everyone and you know works with thousands of students and do not get that kind of a personal care. So that is why I chose Crack Verbal because uh, I knew few people uh, who recommended Crack Verbal. Either them or their friends have worked with uh, Crack Verbal in the past. And uh, another thing, also, you know, I took into consideration most consultants advertise very strongly on. the top ivy league colleges that they have got the students in but i was not looking for that i was looking for a consultant who would you know kind of advertise students who got the best that they could it might not be ivy league college but considering their profile and their scores and everything they should be able to make the best out of it and uh, that is why crack verbal kind of you know ticked all the boxes and your uh, you know sales team is also very efficient and uh, most of the times sales people do a very hard sales you know they tell you that they will do everything and this and that but when i spoke with likesh he was very practical about it and he told me the things that are to be done by crack verbal and also the things that uh, you know that were to be taken up by me where the onus lies on me so before i could join crack verbal my expectation was very clear that what i am going into and then i spoke with you before finally taking the call and you also gave me a very uh, you know uh, i would say clarity a lot of clarity on what actually can be achievable and how do i uh, kind of uh, manage my target colleges be it some very ambitious colleges 
speed some achievable mix and uh, with the information or with the direction that you had given me on that day then obviously i did my own research i built up on that and then uh, i got to know a lot more about you know where uh, my chances lie and that is how crack bubble came in uh, once i was going through the selection of this college i had very clear ideas in my mind that uh, considering my age i was looking for a shorter duration of course so obviously most of the two year courses in usa i kind of ruled them out and not just with the time because the time means that i will be out of employment for a longer period of time and considering my financial commitments that would not have made lot of sense and also the investment that comes with it so most of the us colleges comes with a you know very huge tuition fees you might get a scholarship you might not get a scholarship but on a very you know practical manner i didn't think that that would be something that where i will get a lot of value so i especially was looking for european schools except for one college in uh, usa which happened to be kellogg which offers one year course even at this point of time obviously within the better ones i'm not considering emory and other schools but other than that i was mostly considering for uh, europe and i did a thorough research on you know which all colleges i wanted to apply on the first round and where i wanted to prioritize things and then apply to some colleges where uh, you know i would be applying on second round and lastly if i i also had a backup plan that if i don't get into any one of these colleges these are my safe options so it is very important not to put all your eggs on the basket one basket but at the same time do not try to do everything at once then you know you will not be able to put sufficient time towards these colleges and these colleges need a very very you know thorough self retrospecting and understand in what you are want to do and once you have that particular thought in the process then it is a totally different task putting that thought into the right questions within those character limits within those words limit how to frame every sentence of your essays and how to basically project yourself how to tell your stories so considering that i uh, on the first go i chose few colleges that i would be working with you and uh, they were london business school kellogg and ncert so i knew that hcc timeline is a little far away and there are many rounds so i did not have any hurry uh, over that but actually the essays that i worked on these colleges with crack verbal helped me write my other essays also and it's kind of a comprehensive process where uh, it's not that you have to uh, work with you know for 10 colleges if you work with three or five college pack of crack verbal you should be able to put at least 10 applications so i remember having the mock interview with you and actually that was a totally recorded session where you had put me through a lot of situations and uh, you know the feedbacks that you had given me after i got the recording so i analyzed the feedbacks a lot and your feedbacks also really helped me a lot in terms of preparing for the interview and most of these college interviews are not very you know kind of a grilling process if they want to grill you that might be one of those cases but most of the cases it's an exchange of thoughts that the interviewers try to do with you it's not that you will be thrown random gk questions or random things where you have to tell your analysis or it's not really like an examination it's uh, more of like a conversation where they try to sense the purpose that you are having and also in my understanding they also do an analysis back of their mind where they try to understand is this something that the college is going to meet whether there will be a gap in expectation or you know both the parties will be having their expectations met so it is very important that you know what these interviews are expecting of you and also it is very important to know whether these interviewers are blind or they have access to your application because uh, in the interview you might be referencing your application many times and then you get to know that the interview does not even have your application so it's important that you do this research and is not everything that you know a consultant can feed you so you have to be very proactive on your own and you have to speak to alums by yourself and you have to get in touch with them to understand how exactly the structure is because every college has a different process such as hcc has a process where they ask you to make a presentation a presentation that would be creating beforehand submitting to them and on the day of your interview you will be presenting that particular thing and they will be asking some questions so that is why i believe that you have to do a lot of research and only then the interviews will come into place and again my last bit uh, into this would be that interviews are kind of stress free they will never put you through a stress and they will always be smiling they will always be very cordial with you but don't lose your focus in the hope that you know they are your friends so you have to keep your composure you have to keep the decorum and try to deliver the best you can 
first of all there are a lot of logistics logistical things that you have to take care of before finally going to an mba most students like me uh, need a funding uh, a very good amount of funding to go there so obviously uh, once i got this admit my initial thought was to secure a funding so that it would help with the visa process and all the second bit is get your documents right speak with the college that what are the documents required for the college and also for the visa process and make sure that at the last time you do not struggle with this logistic issues you have everything that in place and coming to the other part the preparation bit most of the people are working i believe that when they get an admit so they have to have a plan when they are trying to quit the job and utilize that point of time having a full time job you don't get much time every day to prepare so i would always suggest that you prepare i mean you leave your job at least 2 3 months before so that you get ample time in order to you know get that free energy because trust me you will be requiring lot of energy and lot of things when you finally go there and try to have a proper research for example if i'm trying to have a consulting position after my mba i would be doing a lot of case practices as of now and i would be speaking with alums i will be utilizing this time to know how to you know best portray myself and at the same time many of the companies have this pre mba events bcg unlock uh, bain empower and all so even if you decide to not to apply to all of this but you have to keep a tab wherever there is a pre mba event you can actually uh, you know register yourself attend those webinars and it never hurts when you have more information and also you could connect with the peers that are about to go to the same college as you are going and uh, try to interact with them and get their perspective so three things alums you know uh, logistic things peer groups and also your own bit of preparation that you have to do